All right, we're back, folks. Well, welcome back to this episode of Mojo Shop Guitar. Here's the next guitar we're going to do on the show. It is a little Les Paul Jr. single pickup. Tiny little saddle, a bridge, whatever you want to call it. You know, a little black pickup, but it's got a nice little neck on it. Nice little... It's got a nice headstock on it. It's got the nameplate on it. it says Les Paul. I mean, Epiphone Les Paul Jr. Yep, we're gonna get her cleaned up real nice. It's got looks like it's got a uh, Graph Tech nut in it. It's looking real nice. We got some plans for this one. We'll make it real, real nice. It's you know we paid just a little bit for this on uh, Facebook Marketplace. You know, all of our guitars are under a hundred dollars. This is something really, really special. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take this over there. We're going to give it a, another pickup. We're going to put some nice knobs on it. We're going to get it all cleaned up, make it look real nice. You know, we're going to make it something special just like we do all of them. You know, you remember the last two? Man, they're special, and this one will be special, too. We've got the show coming up, so what do you say? We get this one over to the bench as soon as possible, like right now. All right, well, here we are over at the bench. You can see we got this one right here. It's not looking too bad. Got a couple of dents in it there, you know, but we're not really going to do too much about that, you know. Uh, you know, the, the clear is cracked, and it is what it is. It's got some damage on it. But, you know what? It's going to clean up real nice. It's got a few nicks on the back there. But it's, you know, not looking too bad. The black neck with the black backing and the tuners. It's got a serial number. You know, it's a nice little Epiphone. You know, it's a simple little rocker. You know, these little things right here, these are so, so they're light and they just, they plain rock, man. You know, this just, you know, that's a popular thing. There's reasons why people like Joan Jett and, and uh, you know, the uh, uh, Billy Joel Armstrong, yeah, dude, you know, that's why, you know, he drives, he plays this kind of stuff, you know, it's because they're light and they just do the job, you know, and, and if you think about it, on most, if you had a Les Paul, really, you know, you'd, you'd flip it down on the, on the bridge pickup and crank it up, you know, well, that's what this is, you crank it up, you got it on the bridge pickup, you know, and I have this other pickup over here to get in the way, so basically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the strings off of this here, get everything all loosened up on it, Take all the strings off. You know, the strings are only on there with one little tiny turn, stuff like that, you know. So we're just going to take these off. And uh, once we get the strings off it, what we're going to do is we're going to take the strings off it. And then we're going to take the neck off of the body. So when we get the neck off the body, we'll be right back. All right, we got the body apart. There's nothing in the... Uh, in the cavity there. There's nothing in the cavity. There's. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything on the end of this. You know, nothing on the end of the neck. You know, we get these nice necks. The neck that does have a little. Looks like a letter P on there or something. I don't know if you can see. It looks like the magic marker or something. But yeah, you know, it's a nice little neck. Looks pretty straight. I'm looking down. It looks pretty straight. Everything looks good on it. But we'll find out, won't we? <clears throat> here in a little bit. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this aside. We're going to start on the neck. Well, oh, no, 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 no. That is not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> first thing I want to do is there's been something that I've been wanting to do. And, you know, it's something that bugs me kind of. And when we put a, when we put a, um, a neck, a bolt a neck to a, a, a guitar body, some, a lot of times the, the screws, they screw into the body. They, they you have to screw them through the body. And I don't like that. I want the screws to just sink right through the body. I'm going to go right straight through the body. I don't want a lot of play, but I want them to go right straight through the body so that when, so that they're not getting tied up and I'm having a gap. See, because if you have screws here, threads in this one and threads in this one, it can still end up with a little gap between the the two pieces of wood between the you know the neck and the body. So by having these drilled, it's going to suck it right up. It's going to pull that neck right tight to that body the way it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, get my drill out and I'm going to drill these out just a little bit, and I'll be back after that. 
All right, we got these holes drilled out in here, and it's doing exactly what we want it to. See, the, the screw goes right through, and it's not real wiggly in there. It wiggles a little bit, but it's not real loose. It's the whole size it's supposed to be. See, it goes right through there. That's the way it's supposed to. And that way, it's gonna when we put these screws in there, they're gonna bolt right straight to that neck, and it's gonna suck it down. And that's what we want. So, having taken that that taken care of, let's move on to this neck. Over here, so I think that's where we're gonna start. Set that body over there. Okay. Take a look at this neck. Get this neck plate out of the way here too. Start setting parts up here. All right, our neck's not looking too bad, you know. It's a your regular old Epiphone. Looks like it doesn't really have any nicks or any, you know, scuff marks or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the truss rod cover off. We're going to take the tuners out of it. And uh, then we're going to, you know, then, uh, well, we're going to take the tuners out of it, stuff like that. And then we're going to go over and we're going to do all the work that we need to do on the neck. So when we get all the tuners and stuff off, we'll, we'll be back. All right, we're back. We got the headstock all stripped down except for the grommets. I'm leaving the grommets in there. You know, we're going to give this a little bit of a buffing across there, a little bit of a polishing. And those grommets ain't going to get in the way. And, they, you know, if we buff them up a little bit, yeah, they ain't going to hurt nothing. So, we're, you know, you see the back, all the tuners are off there and stuff. And that's going to need a nice clean up. And it's going to need a clean up along the neck and everything else. You know, it's all going to need a clean up. But what we're going to do is we're going to start all of our work on the neck. So, you know, the first thing we do is we check it and see if it's flat, you know. And of course, it's rocking, rocking back and forth. So we got to find the truss rod tool here and see how what's, what's going on with the truss rod. That's the one right there. Yeah. Oh, it's tighter than tighter than tight can be. Yeah. Loosen her up a little bit. Let's see if she relaxes. Oh, I think I just felt it relax right there. Shoot. Let's see. We're getting better. But we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna mon monkey with this a little bit. Maybe we'll open her up a little bit more. You know. There we go. All right. Now I think I got all this relief off the truss rod. There we go. Yeah, she's not starting to hit right there. All right. Got all the re all the oomph off of it. Still rocking a little bit. Yeah. It's getting pretty close though. It's relaxing. It is definitely relaxing. I don't want to put any, uh, try not to put any pressure on that headstock. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do, we're just going to sit here and go like this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of weight on it, press down on it a little bit, you know, see what she does. Let's try that. We just about got the thing out of her. Hmm. Let's just keep on with that. Tell you what, we're going to keep on doing this here. We're going to hold this down here. See if we can't. Let's see if we can't. We got it now. No, it's gonna take a little bit of work. So we're gonna get this neck straight along. And we'll be back. All right. <clears throat> All right, folks, we're back, and we put our neck in the uh, jig out in the uh, in the vise so that it would make it so it's got a backbone. To it. Let's see if it's still rocking or not. Nope. A nice little back, but it's, it's concave, not convex. It's caved in. It should be like a bowl. It should be bold, and but it should be just a little bit. You know, just a little bit from level. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, we got quite a bit of room in there now. Okay, what we're gonna do is this was uh, what we did is we we put this in in the vise, and we, and we sh and we have a basically a couple just a couple pieces of wood that we do and we put it in the vise and it pushes from this direction and makes it go into like a little bowl okay and I put a heater on it so that it warms it up and gets the wood nice and warm so that it will 
bend a little easier, okay? Then I turn the heat off and I leave it in the vise and let it cool down. And then when it gets cold, you know, because it's out in the garage, which is, you know, a little bit cool right now, so. Um, it cools down and then I take it out of the vise. And it's got a nice little convex to it now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to just leave it alone for a few minutes and let it warm up just a little bit, okay? Before I start messing with it. What we're going to move on to next is this body here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this apart, take all the parts off it, take the back out, and uh, we're going to take the controls out, we're going to take everything out. So when we get that done, we'll be right back. All right, we are back and we got the <clears throat> the body all taken apart here and it's looking a little bit dirty, but it's looking kind of nice. And you know, I'm having a dilemma here. Um, I kind of like the look without the pit guard on it. But the pit guard has screws, you know, says there's screw holes, so I'll leave screw holes maybe. So, but we're gonna polish it up and we'll see how it looks after we get done with it. But first thing we're gonna do is, you know, the routine, we're gonna take a wet rag here and just sort of wipe it off. And, if there's anything that's on it, <clears throat> it'll get hydrated and, you know, it's kind of like washing dishes, you know. Start by getting it clean. It's kind of like doing your car, you know, you start by getting it clean. And you, then if you got to do anything to the body, oh, there's a big old, big old war mark right there, I didn't see. This guitar was a, you know, another um, Facebook find, you know. I've been getting a lot of my guitars Facebook Marketplace. You know, people are bringing them out from underneath the old, you know, from underneath the mattresses and, in, and behind closets and stuff. And, you know, people are going, oh, you yeah, know, I bought this for my son. He thought he wanted to learn how to play guitar and be cool, you know, but he decided to be a geek and <laughs> learn how to play guitar. Oh, sorry about his luck. He'll never have something to do when he's. Never have something that's, you know, special that he does that's special that nobody else can. Or, you know, not that nobody else can, but, you know, it's nice to be able to say that you can do something that the average person can't. Okay? I'll put it that way. You know? You pick up a guitar, play a little something-something, maybe even sing a little song. You know? It means something. Oh, that, that's, that's something right there. All right. Take a towel here and just sort of wipe this sucker off. See where we get. This towel I got is about nothing. There. Yeah, it's trying to actually absorb absorbent. I keep a couple of those, um, these, I don't know, they're like poly towels, you know. They're not all that absorbent. But they are good for rubbing stuff. We're gonna get this from looking nice and clean here. You know, and like I said in my last video here, you know, this this rubbing it with the towel, getting this junk off and just kind of rubbing it with the towel, it's smoothing some of the stuff off, taking some of the junk off. You know, if you can sit here and rub it and it comes off, well then, you know, and I'm seeing some schmutz right over there on that side. You know, start seeing what's what's what, and a lot of times. The stuff that's on here will come right off with a little bit of soap and water. But anyway, as you can see, it is definitely getting cleaner. Okay. In fact, look at that right there. Bam. You know, look at that back. It's starting to look a whole lot better. But I think it's going to need a buffing too. It's going to need a buffing for sure. Let's go back over this back one more time because I see there's some stuff. And that's just it. You wipe it and then you dry it. And then, you know, if you're rubbing over something with a dry towel and just smearing around, you know, you should be able to get back there where you can see something that's wrong. That's my washing machine. I need a new washing machine. The load gets a little uneven and it decides it's going to dance across the floor. You know how it is. I got jeans and jeans to dance and wash the machine. <laughs> if you guys ever remember the gong show, I had jean jean the dance machine. Yeah, I got jean jean. <laughs> if you don't put your jeans in right, your dance machine's gonna be dancing across the 
floor there. Yeah, uh, I'm chasing it down. Oh, look at that, look at that. See, a little bit of elbow grease really does pay off. See, now I can see what actually has to get buffed out of there and what don't, because we got it nice and rubbed down and everything, anything that's on this, in this paint, any little blemishes or anything like that are in it. You know what I mean? Are gonna have to be polished out. We got that body looking pretty good. Hey man, I am sure leaning towards just leaving those holes and not putting no pit guard on. Cause you know, I don't know man, pit guard's kinda scratched up, not looking all that great, and just, I, mean, I don't know man, I think maybe it'll look a little bit more unique and a little bit more special. Cause that's what I want it to do. I want it to be an eye popper. I want it to be, a, you know, catch somebody's eye and go, hey, you know, what's the deal with that? Well, you know, that looks kind of cool. Cause I'm putting a regular covered humbucker in here. So, we're gonna have something special. So, anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this body aside over here. And we're gonna get ready on, get started on this neck here. Okay, I got like another day get all the stuff done. So we'll take a nice little drink of that go-go juice there. Let's see where's my... That's not it. Get my truss rod tool because I know I need that and you only need my feeler gauge. And what we're going to do, I know that it's a little bit low. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it up just a little bit. And if I remember, I had it pretty much untightened. So, we just tighten it up just a little tiny, tiny bit, and we'll give it a measure here. Dude. I got a couple. I'm just going to give it another little oomph. And it really, it just started grabbing, the truss rod did. Let's try it over here on the edge. I to see, see, peekaboo, sticking through just a little bit, right through there, right through there, but not at the top, okay? A little bit right here, but not at the top. Looks like I got somebody at the door or something like that. Maybe I should just give them, I'm gonna give this a, just a little more tightness right there. And I'll be back, see who's at the door. Okay, we are back and we went a little farther than what we thought we were gonna. We went ahead and did this neck. And uh, we went ahead and we, well, first of all, we leveled the frets, you know, and then we crowned them. And then we went over and we did all, so we went over and we did all the fret ends along here. So this is nice and smooth. When you move your hands across there, it's nice and smooth. Then we rolled the edges, so they're nice and smooth. There's not a hard edge there anymore, a little hard, sharp edge. Nice and smooth, your finger can hardly feel it. We went ahead and we polished the frets up. We got those with the, with the steel wool and we did the whole fretboard with it too. And that just makes it that much smoother. It just makes it so smooth. Everything on this is really nice and smooth. But what we gotta do now is we gotta give it a good, good cleaning. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take a little bit of tissue this. I use the tissue because that way I can see how uh, clean or dirty it is. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on this rag right here, on this piece of paper towel or toilet paper. I mean, Jesus Christ, you right? And we're just gonna go over this, and we're gonna kind of go back and forth. And the re you know the reason I use alcohol is because it cleans really good and it absorbs and it uh, it dries really fast, which means that it's not sinking in to the wood. As you can see, we're getting some dirt off of there, so we're going to flip that over and put a little more on there. And we'll go over it one more time. I try to make sure I get up tight against the frets. I'm going to try to make sure that I get that spot where I uh, got off the fret with the marker there a little bit, you know. Alright, let's see now it's getting even cleaner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one more piece. Follow it up a little bit there. Just a little bit more on there. Okay. And we're just gonna go over one more time. So 
sticking in there real good. See, that's getting pretty clean. There's a little more on this side. Okay. Pick up where we left off. Right there. There we go. Okay. Just gonna wipe the side down a little bit too. Okay. All right. Now we got that nice and clean, dry. See that alcohol dries right up. See that's not even wet. That's nice and dry. And what we did is we dried it out a little bit. Now that we've got to dry it out a little bit, it's ready to absorb a little bit of moisture. And we're gonna use just a little bit of good old coconut oil here. We just take a little bit and put it in there like that. Just a little bit between each of these right here. And then we're going to go ahead and rub it in. Let it set for a minute. Because, you know, we'll give it a little chance to get a little bit of moisture in it. You know, we don't want to take it, give it to it, and then take it right away when it's, you know, trying to give it a little bit. We don't want, see, we don't want to use an oil that's going to soak in real fast. You know, you know that, that, that. That wood's just gonna be so oh so thirsty. Oh that's little well, that stuff goes down easy, nice and easy. No, give the stuff that's a little bit thicker. So it takes a little bit, you know. It's kinda like a difference between when you go to the fast food place and you get a shake or you get a drink, you get a pop, you know. Pop you can suck it right down because it's looser. The uh Shake, you gotta wait a minute, you know what I mean? You gotta let it get, you gotta let it get a little at a time. That's kind of what this is, it's a little bit thicker. It just takes a little bit more time to get it to you. So, anyway, uh, oh, there's my towel over there. We're gonna grab it. Um, all right, see, we're just gonna let this sit here. You see how nice and shiny it is now? Look at that, wow. No, but that's not soaking in too much. So now, I'm just gonna go over a little bit. Getting a little bit of black stuff off the frets. You Notice know, those frets are nickel and they leave a little bit of a black stuff on your rag. So we're getting all this nice and dry and rubbed with the back. Okay. You know, a lot of this job is just getting things rubbed up, loved up. And well, that does it for the neck, pretty much. You might do the do the oil one more time, the coconut oil one more time before we put the strings on it, but not now. We'll let this hydrate for a little while, you know. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this headstock a little bit of love. See, we uh, got this rag here. Get this rag on here. And we're just going to try to give this a little bit of good rub, 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 rub. You know, I've kind of learned not to do too much to these Epiphone headstocks. They clean up pretty well. But uh, they can look funky fast. If you do, you know, try messing around with it too much, you can really kind of mess it up quick. So I think that looks good. Okay, what we're going to do. In fact, I think I'm just going to get it wet more times. That stuff works pretty good once we're Okay, we're just gonna spray it down a little bit. Give it a little bit of stuff, maybe give it some love on the sides, you know how it goes. So I might love the back up a little bit. Alright. We got that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and then we use this uh, little other cloth, just kind of the plastic cloth, and then sort of rub it in, rub it around, but it won't absorb it. That's one thing that these cloths are good for, these little uh, microfiber cloths, or whatever you want to call them, you know. Yeah, let's take that stuff and rub them right in. Okay, now I'm going to finish wiping it off with a clean spot this time. And we'll go ahead and get the back and everything too. Love all over the place, look at that, I'm loving and rubbing. Man, 
man, I think there's something schmutzy on my rag, to tell you the truth. It's time for clean rag. I'll try a little toilet paper, I know that's fun. Hope so. <laughs> See how that looks after that. Oh yeah, that cleaned right up. Yeah, there was something on my rag that was smeared around. It's time to get those rags in the wash. Ooh, look at that. See how nice that turned out? It ain't no junior anymore. I put senior on there because you know what? It just moved up. It's got creds now. No junior about it. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, do that next one more time. All right. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go through these um, tuners here. We're going to make sure they're all straight. Everything's good with them. We're going to put them on. And we're gonna get the we're gonna recheck this neck one more time, make sure everything's closer washer. And after we get done with that, we'll be back. Thank you. Hey, look at this. We got this headstock all done. We got the I mean we got the, the neck all done completely. Look at that headstock shine, man. It's like brand new. Could you if I if I put this out in front of you, put two headstocks out, this one and a brand spanking new one, you couldn't tell the difference. You couldn't tell the difference. Look at how nice that looks. Oh, look at that. It's got a Mojo Shop sticker. Look at the back of that. Look at the front of it. Got a little oil sticking out of it. Sometimes the, the like where I put my hand or something like that, it'll want to come out again. Which is alright. So we're letting it soak in it, but look how nice that looks. You know, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll just go over it with my fingers, just to kind of, you know, give things a little smooth out. Cause sometimes your fingers will make it smooth. You know, that helps. You'll notice the difference just from going over with your finger. That just makes it a little bit smoother. You know, that is looking good. One of those things that you learn, you know, from doing. You know, I was thinking about it too. You know, I've probably done, I don't know, four or five thousand setups in my life. You know, seen a few guitars, but you know what? My best setups. You know, people ask me, you know, what's the best setup you ever did? Well, it's the last one I did. That's always the best of the last one. So you want to get, if you want to get the best guitar I've ever done, get the last guitar I've ever done that I did. It's always the best one because I always try to improve, get a little bit better, do things a little different, make sure that it gets you know in the zone the way it's supposed to. Okay, we got this neck all done. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring this body back into the situation here, and we're probably gonna take this and we're gonna try to polish it up the best we can. So. What I'm going to do is, you know, we don't do that polishing here. We do that someplace else. So what I'm going to do is I will be right back when we get back. All right. Look at there. How nice and shiny that is. We went ahead and buffed it up. Buffed up the body. Cleaned it up. Buffed up the pit guard. Got that looking real nice. That, no, that is not a new pit guard. That is one that we buffed out. It had scratches in it. <clears throat> Look at the back of that. Looking sweet, 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 sweet. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through this pickup here. We're going to take the pickup out of there and we're going to put another pickup in there. And we're going to go through the controls and stuff like that. And once we get the pickup taken care of here, uh, we are going to go ahead and reassemble the body and stuff. After we clean up the controls and stuff like that, we're going to reassemble the body and get some knobs on it and stuff like that so when we get done with that we'll be right back all right <clears throat> we got our pickup all together in the ring there's a nice nice fresh little humbucker there she gonna sound real good just run the wires through the body there we screw that right in there and uh, in fact I think that's what we're gonna do well oh no we're gonna get these controls ready so uh, Tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull these controls over here, take these washers off them, set them over here. 
what we're going to do with these, and we'll zoom in a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? What we're going to do is we are going to take, I got a little bit of stuff in this bottle here. What that is, that's a little bit of deox that I just, I, put, I spray it in the bottle. That way, I, uh, that way I can get it right in there and get it right up in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it right here in this pot right here down in there. And maybe a little bit back here in this hole, if you can see the hole there. So you put a little bit in there and then you turn it back and forth about a gazillion times. And these do feel like they're pretty rough. So we're going to put a little bit of little juice in there. A little bit of juice in there. And we're just going to sit here and go back and forth with this. Okay. Start to see if it starts to feel a little bit better. Another thing I can do is I can put a little bit right down the, the shaft right there. Just kind of lube that up a little bit. Put a little bit right down in there. And we'll just keep moving these back and forth. And I can feel like it's starting to get loosened up quite a bit already. So... We're going to do that to the other one, and then we'll be right back after we get those cleaned up. Well, there you have it right there. There's the body. Look how beautiful that looks. We decided to go with the gold knobs on there. But look how nice that pig guard cleaned up. You know, I wasn't even going to put the pig guard back on there, but damn, it shined up nice. It almost looks like a brand new one. In fact, this almost looks like a brand new guitar. I mean, you can tell if you get right down there and look, okay? You can find some stuff. It's got a couple little dents in the front, you know? Actually, there's a couple of kind of nice sized dents in the front there, you know? But that don't really discourage, whoa, don't discourage from the way it looks. Looks a little dirty in the back, so we're not going to show this. <laughs> and I should have known that bridge is going to fall off there. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and. I'll put this back plate on it. Gonna get it all hooked up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna marry the neck and the body together. Let's get the neck over here. Put that lay that down. Okay. Okay. Get this body down there. Uh, you know this is always a little, little bit of a cluster. But uh, we can set right up there just like that, okay? All right, now that we got that, okay. I'll make sure it's set in there good. Now we can bring it around right now like this here. All right. Good Lord. Bring my back plate in there. Lay that down. Put my screws all the way through. Okay. Make sure that's in there where it's supposed to be. And we can start screwing these down. Should be hitting the holes in the right spots. Yep, going together real nice. Yep. Got one more guitar to do. Might not get it done, I don't know. Oh, we're getting these two married up here. Get them hitched. Sometimes this is the hardest part of putting a guitar together. She's in the neck on. Good Lord, sometimes. You get one shoot that wasn't real nice and easy, and the rest of them go in. Hard as rock. Now, I'm glad that I drilled the holes through the body. Because now I can go ahead and screw this right down nice and tight. I don't have to worry about it being a gap. No, nothing like that. Alright, 
Yeah, that one's height. Now, we've got it kind of tight. I want to find a big screwdriver. If I can. Ah, here it is. Okay, a little bit bigger screwdriver. I'm just going to hit these nut screws. A little bit bigger screwdriver. It's right now good. All right, there we have it, folks. Looky there, looky there. We widen out way up there. Look at that right there. We got a neck on her. She's looking good. Look how nice and shiny that is. That is not just my camera making look things look good. It is shiny, nice and shiny. Look at that. Can it be? Is it? Beautiful. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we've done it a million times, we're going to put some strings on it. Pretty sure. The one thing I want to check is check that neck angle. We'll put the bridge on there. That, we'll check that neck angle. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect neck angle. So, we have got to put some strings on this. So, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get our strings together. Pack right here. 9 through 42 Ernie Balls. Okay, we're going to go right there. 9 through 42 Ernie Balls. The official string of Mojo Shop Guitar. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put these on there. And when we get the strings on it, we'll be right back. Well, all right, folks. You know, it's been a long night. We got a show tomorrow. And, well, we're supposed to do one more guitar, but it ain't gonna get done. This here's the last one before the show, and I'll tell you one thing, this is a, a showstopper. It turned out real nice. It is nice and clean and shiny and pretty looking. I mean, I doubt if it looked this, brand, this good one's brand new. I know it didn't play this good. It really does have some nice, nice sounds coming out of it. <laughs> Real nice and smooth. Yep, real nice and smooth. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, it sounded pretty good. We got her all finished up. Smooth playing, nice smooth neck. Mm, everything is looking real good. Yeah, a little humbucker action, a little gold knob action. Mm -mm -mm, looking good. Tell you what. How about we take this thing over to the, uh, over and give it a whirl, give it a, give it a try, what do you say? Well, we got it all done. Man, she sure is beautiful. But we ain't over here to see what it looks like. We've seen it. We want to hear it. So we're going to get over here. We're going to give this thing a whirl here. Nice little soft little tune going.
safely say this is a t contender and we turn this nothing guitar into something I mean it plays smooth believe me and it sounds good and all those notes play perfect I mean what else could you ask a guitar to do it's doing what a guitar is supposed to do with style so I'd like to thank everybody for watching today I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing and I'd like to just plain thank everybody for caring and we're gonna say adios for now from Mojo Shop Guitar, baby.